Good morning, friends from Walt Disney's Hollywood Studios. So we are going to break down all of the Christmas decor, the Christmas merch, and try some new Christmas festival goodies. So let's head in and check it out. Decorations down Sunset are some of my favorite. I love that they have all the light poles lined with these stars. They have them every year and I love them every year. They're so pretty. They do have the stores all lined with these beautiful garland and they have so many fun colored ornaments. Right here they have some purple and blues but they are different all throughout the parks. I love them. They are a little extra but Hollywood Studios is extra and that's why it's my favorite during Christmas time. Like as you can see over here at Sunset Tour, they do have some different colored over here. Added some pink and a little bit different garland style, but it's so fun. I love it. Like they just keep getting cuter. And over here we have some window displays. We have the beautiful mini. We have Goofy over here. And then right across the way we have Mickey looking dapper as always. And we can't forget about our pal Pluto. He is so cute. Honestly, I think Pluto might be my favorite over here. It really does feel like every corner of this park is decorated. And it just reminds me of like that old classic Christmas feel. And I love it so much. All right, so we are making our way into Toy Story Land. And as you can see, Woody has got his little rope and his garland, his ornaments, and even his little matching scarf. All right, we got a nice view of Slinky. And our buddy Rex has his antlers on up there. And of course, Toy Story Land always has the iconic Christmas lights hanging, which I love that they're here all year long. All right, and as we approach the iconic big green alien ornament, I think it's going to give you a little hint where we might be going. All right, and it looks like we're even going to get a Christmas version of Alien Swirling Father. And of course, we cannot forget about the classic Christmas ham. And then they do have the cutest little cranberry and popcorn garland hanging outside of Woody's lunchbox. I love it. That is so fun. Right across from the sci-fi diner, we have some pretty little Christmas trees set up. All right, we're going to head into ABC Commentary, which is decorated very beautifully for our first holiday snack. Let's head in. And we have the Christmas music vibes going on, so vibes are absolutely immaculate in here. All right, so in the ABC commentary, we went ahead and got the Windsor Cookie Mousse Tart for six twenty nine. This looks absolutely amazing. This is layers of hazelnut cake, raspberry blackcurrant mousse, and a raspberry jam with sweet snow dusted Windsor cookie. All right, so I love Windsor cookies, so I am very excited to try that. And hazelnut is one of my favorite flavors. Let's give this bad boy a shot. I might need a knife. Yeah, I would say it's pretty thick. Luckily, I got one. It looks really good though. Really? Is it that good? I know that you're looking forward to this. The hazelnut cake on the bottom is perfectly like, mo like moist and fluffy at the same time. The Windsor cookie isn't too, too crazy crispy. In that mousse is sweet but it's also very refreshing and who does love the cookie when your cookies are a classic christmas thing i give this a solid nine out of ten i will be getting 12 of these this season you're gonna have to go get your own side <laughs> see if it's really nice it's so cold and it is refreshing Honestly, I'm not usually the biggest fan of Windsor cookies because I feel like they tend to be dry because there's not enough of the raspberry filling in them. This has an abundance of the filling. The mousse is so good and the cake on the bottom is perfect. Honestly, 9 out of 10. This is a really good holiday treat. I definitely recommend coming over to ABC Commentary and giving it a try. Alright, and it's not a Christmas day without Frozen. Yeah. Special because for the first time in forever, ever, Elsa and I are celebrating the Arendelle Festival. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be dancing through 
Ricky Martin. <laughs> Okay, now of course, for the star of the show, we're gonna go to Echo Lake and get a better view of these amazing Christmas decorations. Okay, so a little fun fact for you guys. Did you know that the Christmas tree on Echo Lake is 65 feet tall and the base is actually 25 feet wide? So it doesn't look massive, but if you are right up on it, it's a really big tree. I feel like the camera is not doing it justice. But of course we have the ornaments floating as always, which are probably one of my favorite parts of the Christmas decorations here. Like look at this view with the tower in the back and the tree, it's so beautiful. But we can't forget the star of the show. Now, of course, we have Gertie, which is the star of the show and everybody's favorite Hollywood Studios icon. Now, the Santa hat that she's wearing is actually so big that four people could stand in it. Isn't that insane? I thought that was a pretty cool fact. Like, you can't tell me that this is just not the best park for Christmas. I love Magic Kingdom, but not all the lands are decorated here. Everything is decorated aside from Galaxy's Edge, of course, because that would be out of theme. And I don't think they celebrate Christmas in Batu, do they? Say that again. Do they celebrate Christmas in Batu? In Batu, yeah, it's called what they call it Life Day. Life, that's right. Yep. So that's why there's no Christmas decoration. Yes, exactly. All right, and now that we had a break and watched the Frozen Show, we're gonna head into Backlot Express to get our next holiday treat. All right, so over here in Backlot, we got the gingerbread cheesecake, which was my personal favorite thing that I was looking forward to. This is a gingerbread cheesecake on a vanilla cookie topped with milk chocolate ganache, dolce de leche whipped cream, gingerbread chocolate decor, and crispy pearls with some holiday sprinkles. Now I'm gonna try the whipped cream first. It's definitely Dolce the Letcher. It's so good. It's very light, but it's good. It's it cold, so it's nice and creamy. Let's get the cheesecake, get a little bite of it all. Is it good? The Linda cookie is better, but this is still really, really good. It's got a nice gingerbread flavor. It's not too intense. I wish there was a little bit more. But the cheesecake is really good. It's nice, it's fresh, it's refreshing. I would give it like a solid 8 out of 10. It's pretty good. You gotta try. Okay, so I'm gonna be unlike you and get it all in one shot, the first shot, because it looks delicious. Cheers. Oh, yeah. It's really good. Like you said, I do like the Linzer cookie one a little bit better. But this is really good too. Like, the cheesecake itself isn't too gingerbread y, but like you said, I wish it had a little bit more of a gingerbread taste to it. I love the little milk chocolate on top. And we got a little chocolate gingerbread guy. And I'm Try this, you can do the gingerbread guy. I was scared. I didn't want to bite his head off, but I'll let you do the honor. Okay, I won't bite his head off. Oh! Mm -hmm. Is it good? This chocolate. Oh. I got a little crunch in it. I thought it was like a crunch bar, but it was just the popping pearl on top. Delicious. What do you rate it? 8 out of 10. There you go. Alright, so of course we have to show off some of the holiday merch. So this tea is super cute. They have a little elf version. We have the gingerbread man version of this one, so the elf is cute. They have a little, aww, I love this. Actually, I haven't, haven't seen this anywhere else. That is really, really cute. And then we have a little Toy Story one as well, which is super fun. We got some fun little Christmas Crocs and the gibbets are super cute with Mickey and Minnie. We have a little classic Mickey and Minnie Christmas sweater. This one is cropped, but it's really cute. And then we have the ear, I think these are the same that they've had the last couple years, but the little Mickey hat. The Santa Mickey hat, rather. It's pretty cute. This is something else that I haven't seen at any of the other parks. That is actually really fun. I like that a lot. I see the back. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, it's so cute. I really like this one. Yeah, I do too. And these are all embroidered. You guys know I think that the snowman's creepy, but they have it in a lounge fly. We found another zip up hoodie. This one says the merriest place on earth. And look at the back. You guys are gonna die. That is so cute. That's Amazing. this is my favorite. And the hood has the little snow globe as well with the castle. And then the snowman ears are back. Still think they're creepy, but you know, a lot of people like them. We have a couple more pairs of ears. These ones have been selling out like crazy. So if you want them, grab them. And then they have a fun matching sweater that's also available for the littles and a matching blanket too. Okay, they're really killing it with the Christmas merch. There's a lot of it. This is really cute. The most magical time of the year, indeed. And then they have the Mickey and Minnie matching one. And this is the Starbucks tumbler for this year. Super cute. I love the red. It's very pretty. We have a little Hanukkah weighted plush. I love this and I love that they're including some Hanukkah merch. Honestly, I think they need more. Okay, and tell me this little Mickey elf costume is not the cutest thing you've ever seen. Okay, maybe the mini is the cutest I've ever seen. <laughs> that is so precious. Okay, they do have the Crocs in the little baby size. And we have another little Mickey plush. And here's the kid spirit jersey. It's the exact same as the adult. We have some of the classic candy goodies and advent calendars they usually have. Just switched out for this year's theme. We have the light necklaces and the little Mickey snowman bubble wand. And then they do have these cute little table lights as well as the really big ones. Those peppermint ones have been selling out like crazy. But look at how cute this display is. I love it. And we all know Disney does not put out holiday merch without Stitch. So here's our little Stitch collection. This one actually lights up, so that's super fun. Kind of fun Some hot cocoa flavored popcorn, Stitch theme, and a little lollipop. That's fun. All right, what I tell you about the Stitch merch? They always gotta have it. But I'm not complaining because it's so cute. I've been good, bad. <laughs> And they've been coming out with the cutest little DIY bracelets, and they actually have one for Christmas. So that's super fun. I like that theme. We found a little Donald keychain. Let's see who's next to him. Oh, all Donald. Okay, we have the ears, which these are my favorite ears this season, and they match the lounge fly and the sphere jersey. What do you know? You can get a whole matching fit. Okay, these ears are super cute because they actually have the sequin hidden Mickey in there. And I haven't seen anybody point that out, but they also have the plush spirit jersey that has the hidden Mickeys in there too, so that's super fun. Okay, so here's the Hanukkah lounge fly. That's actually really cute. I love the blues and I love the Mickey and Minnie on it and how it's the classic Mickey and Minnie. Those are my favorite. All right, here's our little happy Hanukkah display. The ears are very, very cute. I love the bow. I have been anti-bow lately on my ears. That one's cute. We have a fun little mug as well. You can never go wrong with a mug. And it's super, super pretty. I like that a lot. It's $19.99. And then they have a countdown to Christmas. And they also have the countdown for Hanukkah. So that's super fun. You can remove the candle. And then each day as you light one, you can put it in. Hey friends, I think that sums up our little Christmas day here at Hollywood Studios. We had so much fun hanging out with you. There's a lot of new merch. The Halloween merch, I was not impressed with yeah. at all. Didn't buy any of it. Christmas is going to be hard to contain myself. Yeah, I was about to say, they definitely really stepped their game up from Halloween to Christmas a lot. I think I don't think a lot of people complain about the Halloween merch. No one was, I didn't see anyone else. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think they found that out and they were like, they did their Disney thing. It was like, we got to fix this. So I'm very happy that they did because there's some stuff in there that I want to. Mm -hmm. And the treats that we tried, there's oh, so many so more treats good. that we have to try. Yes. So, so we're like, let's start with two. Let's work our way around all the parks, the resorts, and the springs. Mm -hmm. We have a lot to try. Yes. But I think that wraps it up for today. So if you guys like this video, give us a like, a comment, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell notification button. And we'll see you in the next one. Love bye. you. Bye.